Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So have you ever wondered what it would be like to own a computer repair shop in some dodgy backstreet alleyway? Well, today we're going to find out what it's like. So let's go ahead and start. So are we going to rent the shop? We are indeed. Let's go ahead and rent this shop and see if we can successfully make a decent repair shop out of it. So here we are. This is a hostel where you sleep, you have to pay every day. If you fall asleep on the street, your money can be stolen. So let's go to a rented shop and start our first day of work. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, so let's just have a look and see where we are sleeping at this moment in time. Um, yeah, okay. It's not exactly the nicest place, but I guess it will do if we all we want to do is sleep and work, I guess. Let's go ahead and explore. Hello. See you later. Paying the nightly fee or 50. Ah, uh, we won't do that yet. Oh, we can sprint. That's good. Okay. Um, not sure what happened there. That, that was very odd. Okay, so let's um head on down this little back street alley and find out where our kind of repair shop is. Not sure what that's all about, but we'll we'll have a look at that a bit later. Got all these people get in my way. Yeah, this definitely looks um a bit gloomy and dodgy around here to say the least. Okay, so where are we? Oh what do you mean? This is my shop. What are you doing in my shop? Find a way to get your shop back on the raiders. Okay. Um, how do we go about doing this? Can we maybe use something that, I don't know, to defend them or what's around here? Oh, okay. Mr. Muscle Man. Steroid Man. Looks like your shop was raised by homeless vagrants. I don't think I'll do it any other way. So let's go ahead. Come on in. What do you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, we got this. Oh, that was, that was nice and easy. I thought that was going to be a bit more difficult than that, but it seems like it wasn't. Okay, so we've got to clean up the place. You can use your broom for the dirt on the floor and the walls. Okay, so let's um get this all cleaned up, I guess. We'll get all this, um, get all this trash cleaned up. Hopefully, make a nice place of this. I'm already carrying an item. Okay, we'll just put this down on the shelf for now. Um, Yeah, okay. We'll put this on the shelf for now. But obviously, it didn't really want to go on the shelf that way. So we'll put it like that. That's better. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this place up, I guess. Yeah, very therapeutic work. This is this is going to take a while, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is going to take a while. Although it may take a while for me because of the joys of editing. Um, You won't have to sit there and watch me clean up this place for too long. Because in a very quick one, two, three, there you go. We're done. Well, I was just cleaning up this place and um, I saw this on the wall that said this place sucks, which is all well and good. But there's also some profanity around here, which I'm just going to blur out right about now. And we're going to blur that one out as well. Just because, um, let's just say, don't really want to get demonetized because um, well, that wouldn't be very good for the video, would it now if we were demonetized? But if you can guess what they are, then feel free to leave me down a comment down below. But let's um continue getting this place all cleaned up okay so we are atp 86 percent and are very clean which is kind of annoying because i kind of want to be 100 percent. yeah i did think that would be the one okay let's get rid of all of this um graffiti all over the walls make this place look a bit more respectable and hopefully by that time our first customer will come and we can get our business up and running oh looks like we've got our first customer so that's pretty good i just want to make sure i get rid of everything first um i'm missing one more little bit and i'm not exactly sure where it is let's continue going around and see if we can get this place clean well i can't see anything else so i don't really know i think that's as clean as we're getting it then i guess that's a little bit annoying but nonetheless let's go ahead and we'll pick up at this first computer and see what the problem is press f to look inside the computer's case okay so we've got a zintel i5 cpu in there we've got a ztx 55 yeah we've got pretty much most of it over here so that's kind of cool so we need to take this item and we need to put it on the desk for repair go ahead and put this one on the desk some customers write down that the problem is and stick it to a note on the side of the case well that's very nice of them at least it gives me some idea of where to look so i bought this computer last week from a shop selling stolen goods but it won't boot up. The guy selling it said all the parts work. The thief say computer was turned on when he stole it. Can you please solve the problem? Well, maybe you should kind of learn your lesson and not buy stolen property off people because um this is what you get. You buy something and it obviously doesn't work. 
So we can look inside the case and I would quite happily say that, yep, there is no power supply. So it looks like we're going to need to buy a power supply. So we need to turn on the tablet and order a power supply from Zamazor. Well, that's a very unique name to say the least. So we're going to open up the tablet and we're going to try and find out where we need to buy the power supply from. I'm guessing computer wiki, maybe um, power supply here. Um, OK, that just gives you a little bit more information so let's see where do we go for zamazor drone i guess it's that one there okay so we're going to head over to power supply and i think we're just going to pick the probably the cheapest one i guess because i don't want to really go too crazy on money wise so i think we should just go for the 250 watt one that was probably be okay i think if you pay me 50 dollars, i'll give you a baseball bat and i hope you beat them yeah let's go um is there a way to check if that's going to be enough no it doesn't really give us any information as to what type of power supply we need so let's just go ahead and order that there so we're going to go into here we've got the basket so we're going to go ahead and complete this order and our order is on the way so what other stuff have we got here so we've got a flash drive here um we've got an air blower i mean i suppose we could um clean it out i guess we could be nice and we could um clean it out for them i mean it does look pretty clean so we'll leave that there for now and looks like our part has arrived so we're going to open this box i guess i'm going to take the supply up power supply out um and then i think what we should have done is probably dispose of this uh cardboard box do some recycling so we'll press e and oh okay so we recycle it oh and we get 10 bucks for that which is pretty cool so recycling does help them okay so we're going to take this and we're going to click on the pc maybe um so how do we go about opening this no nope, not like that um let's see how do we go about doing this okay so do we pick up the item and then we press f1 here and we drag that into there like that oh okay that's pretty simple so turn on our computer and test. Well, it's booting up all right so far. Microsoft, awesome speedy. <laughs> that is quite funny. Okay, place some computer case in the park packing section and complete the packing on the screen. I think we should be a little bit nosy and see what we can actually find on here. So that's just a sticky note, which is very odd. It's on the side of the PC, but also on the in the actual computer itself as well, which is a little bit odd. So we've got one gigabyte RAM. We've got 2.4 gigahertz cpu 12 gig display card as well and 500 gigabytes of storage so we need to enable a product key as well i mean we could be nice and do that we could update a load of these as well just go the extra mile maybe i think maybe we should just let's go ahead and be you know nice and you know if we go the extra mile then hopefully word of mouth will spread about our good custom and hopefully we should get some more business through the door so Let's go ahead and just go that little bit extra mile. Okay, so that's all the drivers updated. So that's pretty good. Um, I think we should go ahead and get a product key as well. Well, I'm not really sure it's going to be worth the money to do, but we're going to find out anyway. Um, let's see, what have they got on Steam? Past of Us and Moba King. So let's see how we go about um potentially getting a product key let's open the tablet and see what's in here and um, we've got virus wiki um i don't think we're going to find it in there what about this flash drive what does this flash drive do let's insert the usb into that um and then we'll go and use the computer and we'll go into the flash drive oh okay so we've got os key generator we'll open that out and we will generate with some funky music Can we mute that at all? No. Okay, so we have generated a operating system key. So let's go ahead and enter the key here. Um, can we move these out of the way? Okay, so we have to type it in manually. So we'll go 3Y. Okay, so hopefully this will work. So enter. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we kind of had a look at how everything sort of works now. So we've got a benchmarker, we've got apps, overclockers, um, password crackers as well. Message hooking, virus generator. Okay, so looks like we're not just um, fixing PCs by the looks of it. So we will go ahead and see what else we can achieve. Um, don't want to forget the flash drive, do we? That's a, definitely a handy bit of information that we need. So let's go ahead and we'll take the computer and we'll just place it in the packing section, which I assume is not there. I'm not really sure where it goes. Ah, over here. Okay, completely missed that. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, We'll use the terminal okay um all customer request complete price calculation 200 okay so maybe it was worth doing the extra mile then 
we only paid a hundred dollars for the PCU, so that's pretty good. So we'll complete that. Um, we need to take this and deliver to the cargo post office, which by the looks of this highlighted person over here somewhere. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Now you can freely play the game. Go find out how to detect impure errors and solutions to different viruses on your tablet. You can press the tab key any time to open a tablet. Okay, I think we've just got a new customer, so let's go ahead and have a look at this one. Hello, Joe. Hey man, I saw a new shop open and I came here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But yep, I am a content addict. I think that's pretty much a safe way to say that. And I think the computer is broken. I can't get into Zorn. We'll call it Zorn for sure. You know, don't want to do anything that's um, get me demonetized. Can you check it out? I need it fast. I can't take it anymore. Please help me. I'll pay for it. And I can't remember the password for the computer. I've been looking at it on paper at home and write the computer. But you're like a master, you'll crack it. Finally, you can clean the computer. Okay, so now we're going to have a look, a little bit more look at what the USB can do. So we're going to go ahead and pop this computer down here. Um, we can use the air blower first of all. I think that's probably going to be the best thing to do. And uh, we're going to just blast this thing and get it all nicer and clean. Okay, there we go. Computer is nice and clean. So we need to scan for viruses as a solution install the avr on the computer from the applications on the flask disk okay so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to boot up the computer and we'll scan for some viruses and see what happens okay so ah uh, yes i remember now we um he can't remember the password to get onto his computer so i think first of all we need to do password cracker and we're going to crack this password hopefully it doesn't take too long and that's the password is it one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so let's try that then and hopefully this will work and it does work but it seems like we've got some sort of um is that an actual error or uh, no that's just his background because yeah he thinks that's kind of funny um okay so let's open up word see what's in here no nope, nothing on there winra um not sure what all of these are won't let us do much with them so let's go ahead and scan for some viruses shall we um we need to install this i believe we need to do avr that was the one so we'll install avr and once that's installed hopefully we can do a virus scan and we can see if we can fix this problem with him i don't really want to delve too much into what else he has on his computer i'm a little bit scared to you know have a look and see what we can find but there we go we've got avr installed so let's go ahead and start a virus scan okay so number of viruses cleaned 300 that's quite a few viruses to have on your computer um i think you definitely better be careful of what kind of websites you tend to be exploring because that's obviously not done very good for your pc but anyway all the tasks are complete so let's go ahead and um, package this up and get it all sorted so we're gonna go ahead and complete that and we got nothing for that nothing at all so we did all of that for free i mean we didn't spend any money but that's not the point really is it this safe needs to be hand delivered hmm okay interesting okay so we'll go ahead and hand deliver deliver this to joe oh yes there he is so we'll deliver the computer case and oh, we received 200 for that okay so that wasn't one that needed to be sent off it was just one we had to hand deliver so that's pretty cool um what else have we got oh um hello do you normally just walk around like this in a bikini that's i mean it's not exactly the nicest looking of areas we're not exactly at the beach but you can wear you can wear whatever you want i guess there's no shame in that so let's go ahead and see what you have wrong with your computer then let's look at this sticky note it's broken it won't open Uru, really okay we will go ahead and see if we can find the problem part so we've got pretty much everything in here so that's um pretty much all sorted with all of that um let's see how we use this so a place for repair it use computer wiki tablet to find out which part is faulty so let's go on to computer wiki so let's go ahead and see if we can turn on the computer first and we'll see what the error is so it looks like we've got cpu fan error just there in the bottom left hand corner let's just start it up again so yeah we've got a cpu fan error so let's open up our wiki and hopefully that will tell us a bit more information so cpu if you encounter an error shown in the image is most likely a processor error you may want to consider replacing the processor okay so we need to go ahead and find out what processor they have in there so there's 3.1 
so let's go ahead and we'll drag that into our hand just here and let's see if we can just repair it so let's head over to this machine and see if we can use and we can start the scan and hopefully we should be able to repair it rather than trying to buy one and put that in this way it will save the customer a little bit of money okay so it looks like we've found bad socket so 80 so we're gonna go ahead and fix that um it was 80 so let's go ahead and fix that okay so the repair has successfully been completed so we are good to go with that one so it looks like we can just should be able to just put this straight back in now so we'll take this item and we will put this back in here and we'll try and reboot it and see what happens so far so good yep but it's definitely booting up so we've definitely fixed something along the line okay so let's um go ahead and do a virus scan just to be on the on the nice side this one doesn't look like it's going to take too long compared to the other one so we'll just give it a quick virus scan okay so no viruses so that's good okay looks like we've got a couple of pictures here as well let's see what it oh my god <laughs> that's quite funny uh that is very funny um i won't show you it on screen just to be on the safe side but obviously you can see what it's called um but basically it's just uh it's basically a guy lifting up his t-shirt with the character's face on it so that's pretty funny and then we've just got a, a nice picture there as well so let's go ahead and see what else we can do so they need a product key as well and i think that's pretty much about all we can look at so yeah i think this customer is pretty much done there's nothing to report here on this computer so we are doing well so there we go deliver to you that's 150 all good so let's see what else um we can buy so reviews okay it was a fantastic experience dick technician thoroughly examined guy computer and quick resolved the issues definitely trust this technician okay so it looks like we haven't slept for a while we need to go ahead and sleep so Bruh. oh okay so you want to okay yep help yourself i was just about to close up shop and try and get some sleep but yeah okay um let's go ahead and head off and get some sleep i think it's telling us we're getting tired so we better had before we pass out so i don't want to pass out and end up in a, a bad spot so i think it was this way was it this way so we paid the nightly fee and hopefully we can go in and sleep so let's go ahead so here we are awake and refreshed let's go ahead and see what we have on today's agenda then um this way wasn't it it's so disorientated sometimes of what way we're actually going but let's get some more computers fixed up and then we'll do some exploration i think so we'll go ahead and open this door in fact i want to close the door for now um we've got a customer a couple of customers here so before we get too overwhelmed with customers i think we should just get these two done for now um a sale gun ah, we'll have a look at that in a bit so i want my computer cleaned is that is that all you want um that's pretty simple we can do that for you okay so that's pretty clean to me um let's just fire up the computer just to go that extra mile and double check there's no errors on it see if we can um see if we can find any secretive information or anything on this one maybe there we'll have a little play around to see what we can find okay so we haven't got anything really just i want my computer cleaned that's fine um let's go ahead and grab our flash drive see what kind of goodies we can find on this computer so let's see if we can find anything anywhere in here um let's see if we can use a password cracker for this actually so see if we can go ahead no crackable resource found okay so that might only be just for the for the actual login then um message hooking what is this okay um not that what's zero writer just get not found okay um unlocker enter file name here start crack we've got no keys okay so that's that all done let's see what apps we have here so we've got winra we've got avr as well and i said i don't think there's going to be anything on this one that we can find so we'll just keep on going through and see if we can find any with some weird obscure locked files then so let's go ahead and grab this one open a tablet and look computer wiki for errors um there wasn't any on this so don't worry about that all customers requests complete complete the process for 20. okay so we'll go ahead and get this one posted and then we'll have a look at this other one so we want to hello. post this one thank you very much pleasure doing business with you hello little pretty cat oh <laughs> france yoink yoink we can um we can just take the cat then and i think we should just pop the cat right here there you go it can be our friendly little store cat now um okay you just yeah just walk on through the door no problem at all i was gonna open it for you but yeah whatever floats your boat i guess so let's have a look if you can fix my computer do these two 
I want my computer cleaned. Can you overclock my computer? CPU min 0.27 megahertz. Megahertz min 135. Okay. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um, so we can't ever close up shop. They just, uh, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll get the cleaning done first just because it's nice and easy. And then we'll go ahead and do some overclocking. Okay. Computer is all nice and clean. We're going to go ahead and pop the flash drive in there. I'm going to boot up the computer and see if we can get some overclocking done oh okay so it ran into a problem okay so let's have a look at the wiki and see if we can find out what that error could be so we've got rams nope power supply um it wouldn't be the main board so hard drive i think it's going to be so yeah it's mostly likely caused by the hard disk okay so we need to go ahead and we need to take the hard disk and we need to go ahead and repair this so let's go ahead and start the scan and we're going to go ahead and fix the bad sector so 25 so we need to fix bad number 25 repairs in progress okay so 90 percent complete near enough there and there we go repair successfully completed so we'll come out of that and we can pop this back in now and we'll pop that back in there and okay so we need to remember what the specs they needed were so 0.27 minimum for cpu and for the ram we need 135 that shouldn't be too bad so let's see if we can boot up the computer now hopefully it should work all fine nope we've got another issue with the cpu okay so wrong button there um let's go ahead and take that out and we might as well just do them all to be honest at this point um okay start scan we're gonna get this one done as well bad socket number 69 that's kind of fitting for how this game has been so far um but we'll get that repaired anyway and hopefully the computer will boot up after that okay another repair successfully carried out so hopefully now we can put this back in and should be good so let's go ahead pop that in there and hopefully the computer will boot up now so far so good yeah it's looking good definitely booting up further than we got before okay perfect uh, that's a nice looking background quite like that it's pretty cool so we want to overclock our computer so overclocker um main error ah okay so we can't overclock it now let's have a look and make sure we've got necessary components to actually run this computer so let's turn it off for the moment um i completely forgot about that so we haven't well we have got ram 20 gigabytes um so interesting okay so let's go ahead and open the wiki then see what we can see what we can fix and sort out so hacker wiki maybe unlocker to unlock a lock file you must run the unlocker okay personal info um dark computer oh, okay so you can access all the registered information of the computer owner by using the user info code ah okay interesting hmm so authorization enter the user's phone number you can access for access a verification code to receive on the phone oh, okay so that's for like two fan two-factor authentication so that's pretty cool um what have we got here to crack a game you need idea of the game ideas are constantly changing you can open the app via usb to burn a game to a floppy disk you need a blank floppy disk okay so that wasn't very helpful per se um we've got a load of viruses here as well um oh there we go usb bug virus so it was a virus we come across okay so details how to fix you can get rid of this virus by removing and inserting the flash disk but it may not be on the first try you may need to try a few times oh okay so that's nice and interesting so we'll remove that then and we will insert it again and then we'll fire up the computer and try again so at least it wasn't too difficult to figure that one out then good job we went into the wiki to find figure that one out that's pretty good so hopefully this time it will open up okay so flash drive and we want to go to overclocker didn't we so yeah we've got the error again so what we're going to do is just take it back out pop it back in and we'll just keep trying this until it starts to work there we go okay so ram we wanted what was it again 135 minimum let's go for 150 will be nice and go for 150 and then cpu wanted to minus 0.27 so we'll go for minus point a 60 percent chance there um we'll overclock it anyway Hopefully we are successful. No, we failed. Failed the overclock. So let's go for, we'll take this down to 140. Um, that will give us an extra 2% chance. Have to pay again to try. Oh, okay. We'll go. We'll pay again. Hopefully we're successful. We are successful. That will do. Okay, so we've done that. And let's go to the benchmark. We'll start the benchmark and see if we get some decent 
um, sort of FPS on this one. Now we've overclocked it. It looks absolutely terrible compared to, you know, so plus 140 and then plus 0.299 and going ahead. So yeah, we should be pretty good with that. So let's go ahead. I think that was pretty much all they wanted doing if you can fix my computer do these two computer cleaned overclock so yeah we are successful with all of that one okay i think i just heard another customer come through the door as Bruh. well oh my god we are definitely stacking up we need to get all these done pretty quickly and i've just completely bypassed the whole point and let's go ahead and get price calculation so 289 just for repairing a few bits so that seems pretty good to me we've earned quite a bit of money from that one so very happy with that one we'll get this one posted nope. there we go so we've got 889 dollars all together at the moment so let's see what one should we go for we'll go for this one this one looks like it's got a big long list on it so let's have a look computer is not working apart from that i have additional quests i want ram i want my computer cleaned can you overclock my computer i want this app I want to play sim b or rush b sim can you set my computer to run this game okay so it looks like this one is going to be a little bit more in depth so let's go ahead and try and turn on a computer first i guarantee it's going to need some bits so no ram okay so we're going to have to go and purchase some ram let's just check our reviews so yeah our reviews are going pretty well so far so pretty happy about that um let's have a look at the skills tab and see what we have here fast repair buy for 250 oh okay so we have to buy our skills we have bills here which don't seem to have any bills that we have to pay that's pretty good okay so let's get some ram um we're probably going to need go a little bit decent on this ram let's go for the two gigabytes i think that should be plenty for what we need um so that one is on its way okay so our order has been delivered so let's quickly go ahead and grab this and we're going to open this box and we're going to grab this ram and we're going to put this straight into the computer so that's good we have a ram successful and um, let's go ahead and see if the computer will boot up now well that wasn't good that wasn't good at all okay this one might be a power supply issue power supply failures usually manifested by crackling sound and no image comes on the screen i thought so okay so let's go ahead and look at this power supply so we need to take that i'm going to go ahead and repair this just here so 91 I want to go ahead and fix that one. Okay, so repair is successfully complete. So we can take this one now. We can pop this back into our PC and hopefully it should boot up. No, that wasn't good. Okay, so now we have to look next on what it's going to be. It's going to be the main board. That's kind of what I thought it was going to be. But it's always good to double check. So let's go ahead and grab the main board out of here and we'll repair this one as well. So I'm going to go ahead, pop that there, get this one done as well. Okay, repair successful. So that is pretty good. Okay, so we are pretty tired, but I want to try and get this a PC done and then we can kind of head and get some sleep. So hopefully now, it should turn on and we should be able to make some more progress so far so good okay perfect so looks like we need to um crack this login so we need to use the computer um oh we're getting very tired we we definitely need to go to sleep okay we need to head back get some sleep and we can go ahead and continue need to do a little bit of exploration actually let's see what all of this little area is about we spent all this time in the shop and not actually been exploring a little bit let's go ahead and get a night's sleep and we'll see how we feel in the morning hopefully all nice and refreshed so here we are let's go um completely wrong way so hopefully we'll make a little bit more money out of this sale and then we'll do a little bit of exploration see what else we can find what's your problem because you don't look at all conspicuous do you walking around with a balaclava what are you doing it looks extremely dodgy oh I'm not sure what's in there. I thought that was my shop, but it wasn't. We'll have a check out in that area at another time. Let's go ahead, get this computer done. Insert the flash drive because I accidentally closed it. And we're going to do the password cracker. And we're going to crack this password. So it's going to be uh, smoky. Okay, so let's go ahead. We are in. Oh, looks like we have some documents that are password protective. So if we could go ahead and have a look and see what they are. Got to try and remember um how to do it but let's um get these requests done first and then we'll go from there so they want the app um win 
WinRAR. So we'll install that for them. And then what else did they need? They wanted overclocking doing and rush B sim. Can you set my computer to run this game? So let's go ahead and we'll close that. Now that's all done. And they're also going to want Steam as well. So we'll get Steam installed as well and then we can see what we need for the game so that's steam installed and it was rush b sim wasn't it so let's go ahead and find a rush b sim there it was and we've got to try and figure out how we go ahead and install that game so let's open up our tablet again just to refresh our memory on how we actually need to do this so zero writer um that will burn a game to a floppy disk which we don't really need um we need to unlock run the unlocker to unlock files personal info authorization and um, it wasn't in any of that so um it wasn't in there as either so employees oh we can get employees cool repairer seller repairer will be good that would be pretty handy to have um we also have a bill um oh my god stole a customer's case today wow that was an expensive bill okay so let's go ahead and figure out again how we go ahead and get this game so we've got rush b sim but i'm not sure exactly what kind of um stats we need for the benchmark which is a little bit odd let's just run the benchmark as it is and um see what we can kind of do to make sure we've got enough frames for the game that we need there must be a way to check what kind of um frames you need per game but we'll have a look so we've got yeah five seven fifty uh it doesn't really give you any information on here on the my games list which is a little bit annoying but nonetheless we need to overclock it anyway so we need to uh, we'll go for 0 0.5 and we'll go for that as well so we need two point um 0 0.5 shall we say and then we wanted a 202 all oh, the percentage is going right down we'll go for 205 41 percent and we're going to give the overclocking a go but it's a very low chance of success no we failed on that one uh we're going to have to keep going because this is what the customer wants so we're just going to have to keep paying and keep going hopefully we get success very soon failed again okay let's go we'll pay again hopefully this time we have success nope we failed again oh okay we'll do it two more times and i think that'll be the limit um if we can't do it within these two times then it is what it is ah, perfect we have been successful so that's good so let's go ahead and give it another benchmark uh, hopefully we'll get a bit more out of it this time okay so yeah a massive increase in the score so that is pretty good i think we should be good to go on this one i want to play yeah rush b sim we should be good to go with that and i'm pretty sure that was all of it wasn't it um can't seem to play any of these games i'm not sure um how that all works but there we go device manager oh we've got loads of updates here so let's go ahead and get all these updates done that's all the drivers up to date um let's see if we can get into these files maybe so there's nothing on this how tall is Golrum? is this maybe a hint for something possibly let's have a look so that's a playlist there there's nothing on here um see what's what else there is oh there was a way that we could um get the customer's info how do we go about doing that again so hacker wiki um personal info so we go for user info on there okay so let's go ahead and type in user info here and see what comes up so rota cosimano that's the phone number there we've got um post farm a road as well so i might want to keep that handy so let's see what else we have over see if we can do the unlocker no we haven't got any of those keys i'm not sure how we purchase those keys either um we've got messenger hook in here let's see if we enter the phone number see what happens so we've got six six four eight seven one one five one three password you can use for two-factor authentication is eight zero one nine let's have a look on the browser and see if we can enter anything over here so what's on business.com we have robot therapy club um oh okay enter shop name oh we can buy the robot therapy club to possibly earn some more money from that business interesting we'll definitely explore that a little bit 
Uh, what else have we got here? So back room, no information found. Okay, so if you're not careful, no clip out of reality's wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms. Oh, okay. So this one website is a volunteer. How can I earn money? Interesting photos saying back room costs a, costs a lot. If you take photos of some entities using a camera, teleport or buy them. Interesting. Okay. Uh, doesn't really tickle my fancy at this moment in time. I won't lie. Um, let's see what else we have so a website you can manage your bank accounts hmm interesting let's go and do some dodgy stuff over here so nickname is not really sure what the nickname is going to be but i don't really understand what what this is or what it's going to be for um we can't really do anything with that i don't think this is anything i think this is kind of a little bit of a dead end um but let's have a look anyway i mean we have finished with this computer so we could use another computer and see what we have here there is deep.com as well um game wiki oh okay so game wiki that might tell us what we need to run certain games it does okay so yeah we've, we're well up well above this benchmark there so we have completed this one so that's pretty good so that's definitely handy to know that that's there um you can lose money here at web roulette okay so let's go ahead and we'll close this one down i think this one is all done so we'll grab our usb and we'll post this one off this customer is all done okay we have made a nice bit of money on that one we'll definitely take that and we'll get the next computer in and we'll see what we can make from that one as well so let's go ahead that is successful so let's go ahead and grab this one over here see what this note says here my computer won't turn on there's some things i want a main board overclock computer i want to play fort for okay so let's have a look and see what else is around this area then i think we've done enough pc repairing for one day let's go and have a little bit of exploration and see what we have around here he looks like a dodgy thief to say the least um let's go ahead and look and explore down here see what we have don't think there's much oh that wasn't good um what is going on here something keeps happening with the computer um okay well we found a weird hologram club to say the least um that's definitely weird and different to say the least um what's this over here oh we can play blackjack Welcome yeah let's play let's play some backtrack we've got some spare money so let's go ahead queen start 19 well good we'll stand on that one and uh, we should win that pretty easily lovely okay let's um let's go big we're gonna go for a big 500 we're gonna see how this goes hopefully we get no that's not good oh this is not good at all we're gonna stand on 15 hopefully they bust and 17 oh, okay we need to go big to win that money back we're gonna go big one last time and we are hopefully there 18 we won that'll do we're walking away with that we have just made a big win on that one it was definitely worth that gamble so let's go ahead and we're gonna get out of here now it's a bit loud and a bit rowdy in there so where else did we want to go and explore there was um somewhere else that we kind of went to go in was it this way yeah so beware underground cat shop here okay so we can we can buy a cat i think we should let's go so cat house cat scratching post okay so we can buy stuff for the cat that i assume is possibly ours um we got i really don't understand what keeps going on with this game every now and then it keeps just you know jumping around there robo wars worker participate in robo wars you must first play the entrance fee this is your membership fee and it costs your starting robot oh okay i think we should save that right there for the next episode um we're definitely going to enter the robot war zone so yeah hopefully you have liked this game so far um it's kind of interesting it's kind of different and so far kind of liking it we'll do a couple of episodes on it and we'll see how we go basically crypto here thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video